Hi everyone, welcome back to another video about .NET MAUI and components from Progress Telerik. In the last video we focused on the data grid. Today we will go all in on charts and we will continue with the same app. You maybe remember the Ustats app, the YouTube statistics app that I used my own data for. So today we will visualize that with some charts. And before we start, I will say thank you to Progress for sponsoring this video. So, .NET MAUI and components from Telerik, let's see what they have. So, here we have the complete list of their controls. So, let's focus on the chart controls. So, we have spline charts, we ha have scattered, pie chart, line chart, financial chart, donut chart. Bar chart, area chart, just to mention a few of them. So, we should not surf the web today, so we should go to Visual Studio and we will start to use the charts. So, here we have Visual Studio, the same app as the last time, and all of this code you will find on my GitHub and I will link to that in the video description. So, what I have done now is that I've created a new view that I call Analytics View. And here, I have just created a scroll view, some vertical stack layouts, so we can continue to add the charts here. And what I also have done is that I imported the Telerik namespace, as you can see here. So let's go and start to build a line chart that we can use for my viewers. So the control we will use for that is called rad quotation chart, if I pronounce that word correct. I don't know, but hopefully, but uh, you will see when I write it. So Telerik, the namespace, colon, rad, Cartesian, short, just like that. And that is the type of charts that have an X and I axis. So we will now add those axes. So let's start with a horizontal axis. So we do like this, Telerik colon rad quotation chart dot horizontal axis and now we will add a date time continuous axis because we want to have the dates on the horizontal and the number of views on the vertical okay so then we create Telerik date time continuous axis and here we can set major steps for example major step unit and major thick thickness and a lot of different styles. But we wait with that for now. We'll, we'll come back here later in the video. So we just add that axis and then we go and add a vertical axis. Telerik colon rad quotation chart dot vertical axis. And this one will be a numeric axis. So Telerik numerical axis just like that and now we are ready to add some data series here so we do that by continue here after the vertical axis or you can do it in the beginning if you want to but i prefer to have it in this order so then we do telerik rod quotation chart dot series just like that and now we can add a line series here, for example, or a spline series. The spline is the more rounded line series. But I will show you both of them. Let's start with the line series. So Telerik, colon, line series. And here we will add the category binding. And in this case, it's the date time property of the model that we are binding to. So let's say that date time and here you need to know the name of a property so and then we can have a value binding and in this case it is views because that's how i have named the properties in my view model and the last thing we need to do is to add an item source so let's do that and we bind to the metrics property in the view model just that okay now we are ready to see if this works so let's run this on an iphone 14. so here we have the app 
looks okay, but we can make it look much better. One thing about the visual things we can do is that we can change the background color to be transparent, so we can have it like um, uh, the background here. So let's do that. So we can set background here, background color to transparent. And we can see that now we have a more of the style of the app. But if you look here at the horizontal axis, it looks really yeah, unreadable, I would say. So we need to go and fix that. And that's where we come back to the horizontal axis, as I said before, with a major step, for example. So here we can go and say major step is one and major step unit is weak. And that means that we only will have the date here. And that means that we will only have a step marker on the chart every week, but we will still have data for each day. So we can see that, but we don't need to have it for each day because as you could see, that was unreadable. So let's open the app again. And you can see now it not looks much better. And here we can add more series also if we want, to. Uh, if we have relevant data for that, for example. We can, for example, have the previous month. A problem here then is that we need to change the axis type because we cannot have dates, but we can have day numbers, for example, day one, day two, day three, and so on. And that makes we can compare month with each other. But what we also can do here to have the theme on the lines that we want to is that we can say uh, stroke for example we can set that to, to green we can say stroke thickness to make it a little bit more easier to see like that and so now the line is thicker and it's green so that means that you can customize it to look how you want it to look. So what we also can do is that we can say that we can set color on the axis, for example, line color, and that one can be, what should we use? Red, that's an easy to see color here. And we can do the same for this one, line color. Uh, let's say Azure, because we love Microsoft Azure. And so now we can see that the vertical axis is red and the horizontal is Azure. And now if we want to change this uh, line to be with more, like say, rounded uh, corners, we can easily do that. But then we will not use a line chart, then we will use a spline chart. So spline series here instead. So now you can see it's rounder if you prefer that. I think that is pretty nice. But uh, if we also want to cover the area around here with color, we can do that. And then we will use the spline area series like this. And then you also need to set a fill color, the color of the area below. So let's say yellow. And then we can open the app again and we can see that we have the area under the stroke colored yellow. So that was the line chart. Let's go and see what you can do with the bar chart. So now when you know how to do line charts, bar charts will be really easy because it works more or less the same. So we will still have a Cartesian chart. So let's say Telerik. Radic Cartesian chart, background color, transparent, so we will have the correct color again. And now we also need to create axes again. So we do the same here too. Dot rad Cartesian chart, dot hori, horizontal axis. But this time we will use a categorical axis because in the view model, I also have a property where we have uh, all views for each month. So the horizontal axis will show the month 
and the vertical axis will show the number of views for that mode. So we use a categorical axis, just like that. We don't need to set any more data on it right now, at least. Telerik colon rod quotation charge dot vertical axis, and this will be numerical again. Just like that. Okay, let's go and create a bar series this time. Telerik rod condition chart dot series and Telerik colon bar series and now we set category binding and that is what values we'll have on the category axis in this case the horizontal axis so that will be a binding to a property called month value binding to the property called views and last thing we need is an item source. So then we create a binding to a property that I have called month matrix, just like that. Yeah, there's everything. Let's run this. And so here we have the bar chart and you can see we have the month here. We have the number of views here. So, so easy was that. So the last chart type that we will cover in this video is the pie chart because everyone like Swedish like pie. So let's continue with that. So we close the simulator for now and we replace this raw decantation chart with a pie chart. So pie chart, rod pie chart. And then we will go and add a series to that. because we don't have an axis in um, a pie chart. Rod pie chart dot series. And now we will add either a pie series or we can add a donut series because donuts is even better than pies. But let's start with a pie chart, a pie series. Then we can add some nice donuts later. So. Telerik pi series label binding and in this case I have a list of the key value pair where we have the keys that are likes and dislikes and then we have the number of them so this will show how uh, my like slash dislike data looks so la label binding key value binding, value, item source, binding, like data, just like that. So that was easy. Let's see if this works too. And yes, now we have a pie chart here and we can select the highlight parts in it. Because you set a series here with a list of different data, you can of course have more than two here. So, but um, we of course want to know what type each um, part of the pie is. So we go and set show labels to true. And if we don't want to select, we can also do allow select is false. And now we can see likes and dislikes and we cannot select to highlight parts. And if we want to do this pie a little bit smaller, we can do that too by setting radius factor like 0.5. And now we can see we have a smaller one. Okay, that was pie charts. Let's convert this to a donut instead because I really love donuts. Okay, donut series is like that and let's see yeah here we have them now we have a donut a really nice one so that was all of the basic charts in the teller components there are some other charts as well like oho lc charts financial charts uh, candlestick chart but honestly i don't really know a case where to use them but if you have financial series you probably 
know how to use them. So I guess this one is really simple to use too as the more basic chart that people like me can understand. Thank you very much for watching this video about Telerik and charts and thank you to Telerik for sponsoring this video. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, press the like button for this video and we see you next time. Bye bye.